All right, what's up, gang? Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the bond market and my outlook for that from an investment uh, perspective. All right, so a bond is a form of securitized debt, meaning that when you buy a bond, the person that wrote you that bond and that sold it to you, they are in debt to you. So they owe, they owe you um, interest on that bond. They pay you a certain amount like every month, every year, whatever. And then at the end of uh, that bond's maturity, they pay you the remaining balance. So, for example, if you buy a $100 bond um, and it pays 10% interest, they would pay you $10 every year um, until that bond is over. Like maybe it's uh, only for 10 years. And then after that 10 years, they pay you the $100 back. Um, and not all bonds are like that. Some pay like variable interest rates, but that's not really necessary for this video. Um, so bonds can be made by governments or businesses. And what that does is that it allows um, either a government, a government or a business to raise more money so that, um, you know, they can invest in something new. So for a government, that would be like a new bridge or fixing the roads or something like that. Or for a business, it could be like a new warehouse or something like that. Um, and so uh, bonds generally move in the same direction as stocks um, in terms of their prices. That's because when the economy is doing really well and bonds are doing really well, um, or when stocks are doing really well, um, the companies are also really doing well. So that makes it um, safer to investors because the comp the companies are going to have an easier time paying them their bonds. Because uh, sometimes if companies aren't doing well, they'll actually have to default on their bonds. And that's just some of the risk that comes with investing in them. Um, however, uh, the likelihood of that happening is pretty low. Usually companies don't. Uh, default on their bonds unless they're really, really risky. Um, and because of that, bonds are seen as kind of a safe haven during, during recession. So people aren't as scared of um, investing in bonds as they are in stocks. And uh, when interest rates go up, stock or uh, bond prices go down. And that's because at these higher interest rates, um, new bonds are available that have the higher interest rates. So they're more attractive to investors um, and the old bonds go down in value. So the, the um, index that we're going to be using to track the bond market, BNB, for every 1% increase in interest rates, the fund goes down approximately 6% in value. Um, and BNB is the Vanguard Total Bond Market Index, provides exposure to taxable investment grade U.S. bonds. Um, it doesn't buy these non-taxable or inflation protected bonds, which I may get into in a later video. It's not really important right now, uh, but basically um, just american bonds that are investment grade they're relatively safe uh so you have a double a triple a and u.s government u.s government is the safest the safest all the rest of these government or all of the rest of these bonds um come from companies right and so single a is the riskiest and triple a is the least risky but more risky bonds typically pay a higher yield um, or a higher interest rate so that's kind of why people invest in those instead um, now, this year so far, the bond fund has significantly underperformed the stock market, which is this green line right here, um, and that's because interest rates are really high right now. And the same thing over the five years, uh, you can see when interest rates when interest rates were really low after COVID, um, the value of these bonds was really high. And then when interest rates started going up uh, to fight inflation, right here. Uh, you can see that the price of these bonds went down a lot. So we've been in kind of a bear market here, which just means the prices have been really low. And again, that's because of high interest rates, but it's also because there's less demand for bonds. Um, because bonds, people who want certain things that bonds have, like the safe income, uh, it's just passive income. So you don't have to do anything to make the bonds. Um, you just invest in them and then it pays you monthly or yearly or whatever. Uh, you can find similar qualities in high yield savings accounts and other interest rate based assets. Not only that, but then there's more demand for stocks right now because they're AI stocks that are doing really well. And that makes investors want to pour more money into um, the stock market instead of bonds. So my investment thesis, uh, how I think you guys can make some money off of this, how I'm personally trying to make some money off of this is that there's going to be a slight pullback in the stock market. Um, of 5 to 15% in late 2023 or early 2024. Now, during that time, um, the interest rates are going to start coming down. And when that happens, 
uh, the price of these bonds is going to go up. So now's a good time to buy in because they're really low. Um, not only that, but then the stock market, uh, again, is a little bit riskier than bond markets. So until then, you can just kind of relax. You don't really have to worry about um, volatility and stock prices. You can just collect your interest payment um, and, you know, you don't even have to worry about it. So what I did is I allocated about 10 percent of my investment portfolio towards bonds because I didn't hold any before this. Uh, but now I took about a one thousand dollar stake in BND. And um, I don't know, I'll just try to keep you guys posted like on my IG stories, uh, Cheddar Chaser, shameless plug. Um, and but yeah, just let me know what you guys think about uh, bonds and if that's a good investment right now. Peace, y'all.